So hi everyone, my name is Alan Paul. I am currently the District 91 Public Relations Manager. Uh, if you are in the VPPR group, you might have seen me posting various posts over there. If you are there in the 80s and other district groups, you might see me promoting the district posters. And today, I'll also be taking the Canva workshop. Now, let me give you a little bit introduction about myself. Uh, my name is Alan Paul, like what I told you. I used to be part of District 20. District 20 comprises of Kuwait, Bahrain, Egypt, and Iraq. That is where I that is where I started my uh, Toastmasters journey. Uh, before I begin, I'd like to acknowledge the presence of our PQD. Hi, Debbie. <laughs> All good to start. All right. Okay. No problem. So, uh, yeah. So I started. I started my public relations uh, journey as a VP membership itself. I used to create posters on PowerPoint. Now the PRM at the time used to tell me about Canva, and I used to be like, Nah, <laughs> online tools are not for me. I'm really good at PowerPoint. I know what I want. I know how to get it. So it's PowerPoint for me. So she used to be like, okay, but just give it a shot. You never know. And uh, I gave it a shot. And now I don't know the last time when I designed on PowerPoint or any other platform because Canva has been really convenient. If I want to get results as soon as possible, it is Canva for me. So today, I know that many of you are already experts in designing. Some of you are here to just check out what Canva is all about. Others are here to actually learn about how to start designing in uh, Canva and see where to go from there. So in this workshop, what I'll be doing is I'll be creating an account from the very beginning. Uh, who all from here have never accessed Canva? Show of hands? Okay, I they're fine. Okay, great. So we have at least one. So I'll start sharing my screen. Now, if you can, are you able to see my screen? Yeah. What can you see? I can see a screen with Google on it. Ah, okay, fantastic. So you're seeing the right screen. <laughs> okay. Oh. Uh, so if you go to canva.com, this is where we can start designing. We can start designing anything and everything in Canva. Nowadays with AI tools, it is really convenient. Uh, we can go to the Business Pro Edition as well, but what I will be showing is just the basic Canva with all the design features because what we like to do is get started with it. Now, if you are a new member, you will see that they, they might prompt you to log in using your Google account. Uh, so I'm just going to click Continue. So I'm going to get started with Canva. Well, that way. Otherwise, you can click sign up and create your username and password and just get started with it. Are you guys with me up until this point? Great. If you have any doubts, please let me know. I can see there are only like 22 people here. So feel free to shoot any questions you like. If it gets a little, if, if, it, if it takes a little bit more time, we can also have it after the session is over. I can clear all your doubts by that time, right? So what will I be using Canva for? Uh, I'm gonna say nonprofit. And uh, receive, they, they, there is, we can receive Canva for nonprofits for free. Uh, there are a bunch of uh, questions that you can, you can answer to get uh, to this point. But usually, from my experience, 99% of people who I know don't get it. And uh, from the experts of Canva, what I know is that you do get it at some point if you start uh, using the Canva basic edition. And then when Canva reviews your account, they will see that, okay, you are using a lot of Toastmasters posters. Uh, and th they usually check your content just to see that you're actually using it for a nonprofit or not. So what I suggest is right now, just go for, I'm not in a nonprofit, or you can say, get started with it. And uh, later on, apply for the nonprofit status. Again, we can do this at a later point. Right now, I'm just gonna stick to the basics of how to create a design on Canva. 
now when you open you will find different things over here you can uh you can you don't have to upgrade to canva pro uh what you can do is create a new design from scratch or look at look at the existing templates on the left hand pane you will see templates you will see the various different templates that are there on canva and you can click on it to start designing look at that there's a save the date or welcome to my channel which can be like a youtube channel a company portfolio uh or if you if you like to create posters uh just i'm just going to randomly just select uh, one of these amazing photos uh let's take an example of okay i'll take this one this looks nice and i click customize temp uh customize this design so the beauty of canva is that you don't you don't necessarily have to start designing from scratch you have thousands of templates to choose from uh, where you can just open up one of the templates and uh, start creating right away. Now, if I want to zoom in, just zoom into this. Hello. And uh, yes. Hi, Paul. Um, can we just, uh, I know you. if you don't have anything particular in mind, do you mind um, kind of uh, creating a poster for a humorous uh, a person giving a, a presentation on how to be more humorous or how to add humor to the presentation, something along those lines? Yeah, sure. So let me give you a small agenda of what I'll be covering in this session. I'll be showing you some of the basic functionalities of Canva, just to let you know what are the different tools that you have. All right. After that, I will create one meeting poster for a Toastmasters meeting. I'll create a member achievement poster. All right. And then I'll create an achievement poster as well. So these three things I'll do. And what I like to do at the end of this workshop is that whenever you look at a poster, you will know what exactly you need to do to design that on Canva. So I'll come back to this question again, Rishi, by the end of the workshop. What I would like just like to show you first are the different functionalities within Canva so that you can explore that. Now, is, is that fine, Rishi? Yes. Yeah, perfect. Thanks. Thanks. Now, in this thing, uh, before I start with anything, now with Toastmasters, we need to be always be mindful about the brand guidelines. The uh, Toastmasters do have a brand manual and uh, we can use the different colors, the different fonts from this brand manual. Before there was a PDF version of it. Now with the new update, we have it on a website. I'm gonna share the link on the chat. You can see it on chat. Are you able to see it? Yes. Yeah. All right. So I'm just going to open it here as well. Just to show you what the brand manual is all about. And uh, I would also like you to download some of the things here. Now, this is the brand manual, this link. Um, oh, you, you are able to see the screen, right? Where I open yes. it? Yeah. Yes. yes. So keep various things downloaded like say for example the toastmasters brand uh the logo click here and click download so that it is downloaded and kept uh some other thing some uh, these are some of the things that they tell you to download you can either keep the logo or even this uh watermark let's download some more things if you want it with the toastmasters website you can download this one usually used for websites so whichever logo you like download that and keep it because what you're going to be doing at uh, during the uh, canva workshop is you're going to be downloading it uh, you're going to be uploading it you can see the different logos that are there uh if you're going if you're downloading a district central uh, logo you can click district 91 and all the resources will be coming to you, all right? Now, these are the main primary colors that you see over here, true maroon, blue, cool gray, and black. Uh, some of the accent colors are happy yellow, uh, black and white as well. If you want to use gradients, you will need to use that. Now, I'll get right to it so that when we are designing it, I'll show you how to use these different things. Now, take for example, this poster alone, 
what I would like to do is I like to click on the brand and you will see that I can't really create a brand template here mainly because I'm using Canva Pro, but that's fine. Uh, that is a way for you to, is for them to charge you for using Canva. Uh, let's go with another approach where I'm just going to down, uh, directly upload it. Now, all the things you downloaded, go to uploads, click upload files and start uploading those two logos that you had previously created. All right. And then now over here, what I will do is if I click on any of the colors over here, or let me upload the Toastmasters logo. This logo has been uploaded. Now, if I click on this or any part of the poster, I can see where to change the color. And if I want to add a color, I want to add the Toastmasters blue color. So I click on the color, I click add a new color. And what I would do is I would go to the Toastmasters brand manual. I would copy paste this hex code. I just click copy here and paste. You can see that the whole color has been changed here. If I want to remove this and it's, I can remove that and maybe add some other picture as well. And uh, if I want to change this to the maroon color in the logo, I can do the same thing and paste this. Now it is the maroon that we have in the logo. Now, I can also keep a yellow color because I can, it's one of the accent colors and a yellow on blue looks more appealing than maroon on blue. So move that. Now, now as you see, white text on a yellow button doesn't really go well, right? So change the font as well. You click on the font, click on the text color and change it to blue. Blue or even maroon, one of the uh, Toastmasters colors. So using this, what I'm just showing you is how to use an existing template, change the colors, change the text, uh, change the images, change the fonts to all the brand colors, and you would have a brand compliant poster ready for you. Right now, I'm just showing you an example of how to use one of those many templates. What we'll do next is create a poster from scratch. Does that sound good? Let's go for a meeting poster, shall we? Great, you can see a thumbs up. So for this, go to the Canva page again, click create a design. Uh, let's go with the Instagram post square, which is 1080 by 1080. I'm gonna click on this. So it gives, it gives me a blank canvas. This is for me to design. Now on the left hand pane, it will show you all the different designs that I can use again. If I want to use one of these existing designs, I can just click on it and it'll be dropped here. See that? And I can again uh, modify the colors, make it as per the Toastmasters brand, use the Toastmasters logo, and I'll have a brand compliant poster ready for me. Uh, if I want if I want to choose another design, now keep this in mind, if I'm choosing another design, if I click on this, it will replace it completely. My old design will be replaced. So we don't want to do that. I'm going to press Control Z. If I press Control Z, it will undo the changes that I did. And I'm going to click and add page over here. If I click add page, it is a blank canvas again. And then I can choose one of those designs and it'll be copied here. If I want to do more changes, I can also duplicate this so that one of the existing, ch uh, the changes that I'm doing won't be affected to the original file. So you can play around with this options. You can delete a page, you can duplicate it again, you can unhide it. If you go to the bottom 
right, you will see a grid view of all the different pages that you had done. All right. Now, I don't want to do an existing design. No, what I want to do is a blank canvas. I'm going to start from scratch. I'm going to even delete the, uh, the background. Now, on a blank canvas, let's start with your Toastmasters club name. Right? With your Toastmasters club name, you're going to add your logo. I'm going to add the logo here. All right? And I'm going to click text, add heading. Uh, what is your Toastmasters club name? Use that name. I'm going to just use ABC Toastmasters to keep it generic. So we have ABC Toastmasters Club ready here. One thing you will notice that it is not brand compliant because the font that I'm using is Canva Sans. Uh, there are brand compliant texts here. So if you click text, or just use the left hand pane. Sorry, font, that's the brain. You can use one of these existing fonts uh, like Gotham or Mon uh, Myriad Pro or Montserrat. This is there. So if I go to one of these things, I'm going to click here, click Montserrat. And there you go. Now, this is a brand compliant font. Now you have ABC Toastmasters Club what would look really good? I like a blue color for my background. So I'm going to click on this blank canvas, go to color again, choose add color. And again, do that same exercise of going to the color palette, copying the color again, and pasting it here. All right. Does black on a blue background go well? Could be better, right? We can maybe go with the happy yellow. All right. So we have ABC Toastmasters Club, ABC Toastmaster Club presence. If I want to reduce the font, I can just do that. So if I want to copy an existing font down below, I can just press Control C and Control V. You will have another text. Instead of going through that whole process of uh, adding a text box here again, adding the font, just selecting the font and changing the colors. I just press Control C, Control V, and it'll have another drop down here, right? So ABC Toastmasters Club, I'll keep this as white just to make it neat. Presence, what do we have? We have a meeting. What meeting is it? It's gonna be a themed meeting. I'm just gonna keep a themed meeting. I'm going to keep it really big so that that is the highlight. All right. I usually like having posters of our members, right? Now, if I'm looking at uh, one of my pictures, let's go, let's select one of your pictures. You all must be having your picture ready, right? If not, take this time to look for one of your favorite pictures. Right. I hope you don't mind me using Seema's <laughs> picture, our CGD's picture. So take one of the pictures and go to this website called remove.bg. Right. I'm going to put that on chat as well so that you can see it. So I'm bypassing one of the one of the Canva fe Canva Pro features on Canva Pro. I can remove the background completely. Uh, just on a click of a button, but with the normal Canva, I can't really do that. So what I'm going to be doing is here we have a picture of Seema. Hope she doesn't mind me using her picture. <laughs> there, that's a lovely picture. Now, if I choose this here, you can see that what I want to do is I want to remove the background 
I'm going to remove Seema's background. And with this, I, it's on Canva Pro, I can easily remove it on click of a button. But if I don't have Canva Pro, I can go to remove.bg, click upload Im image, and then select the image. So what it would do is it would just remove the background for me. And I just click download. Now remove.bg also has create design on, on uh, uh, Canva over here. So once I have removed the image, I can just click upload again and select that image. So I'll delete this and I'll add the one without a background. You can see now we have Seema's picture over there as a background without the background. So she is going to be the Toastmaster of the day. And uh, so I'm going to be mainly highlighting her. What would really look good with her design? Maybe a circle at the end. What if we could put her inside a circle? Wouldn't that be better? So I'm going to click on elements. You can see there's an element here, right? Click on circle frame. There are so many pictures, there are so many frames within Canva, which you can use. Now, what exactly is a frame? I'm going to tell you that in a second. Uh, take, for example, this circular frame. I'm going to click that over here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take this picture and drag it here. You see that? Now, Seema is in a circle. I'm going to press Control Z so that you see it again. I'm just going to drag this here so that it comes as a frame. I'm going to press undo. I'm going to choose some other design just so that you can see what I'm doing. This has a line. See that? These are the different frames that I can use. Uh, if I just click frame, I'll see various other frames in various different formats i can see you, if you want to show that you know your meeting is going to be on mobile i can just click this and then choose one of the other uploads see that i can i can use frames in this format which makes it very simple for me to drag and drop there are so many different frames available in canva in your free time you can go through them and see which one you like best, right? So, so for right now, I'm just going to click circle frame. And uh, I'm going to choose Seema's picture and drag and drop it. You can see that her head is cropped out, right? What do I do for that? Double click and move it down so that it is visible. I'm just going to detach this image because I think it is not so clear. Uh, now this is more clear. Her head is cropped. I'm going to double click and drag it down. So this way we have a photo in a frame, All right? Now here's another feature that I would like to show you. I'm going to click the old one. Now let's go with this itself. And I'm going to put her head outside the frame. I'll tell you why, right? And I'm going to choose the one without a background, right? Now, what I'll do is I'll slowly, with using my down arrow and my right arrow, I'm going to bring it right next to each other. I'll tell you why in a second, right? So now they are both aligned almost aligned okay and now what i would like to do is i would like to crop the bottom so take this and slowly move it up right so now it lo it sh it looks like her photo is outside the frame her, her her head is going outside the frame now this is a nice effect that you can use to add some effects to it Just a minute, I'm not able to see anyone. Okay. Is everyone following up to this point? Does that make sense? Okay, fantastic. What 
we will do next is uh, also add the social media handles. Okay, now if I were to move this around, I'll you, you can see that it's going in different directions, right? I'm gonna press Control Z again. What I would like to do is I like to group this together. See that if I group this together, this will be just one element. So even if I drag it anywhere, it'll just be one element. If I ungroup it, and if I were to move this around, you will see that this is going two different directions. So every time as a de best design practice, what I would like you to do is just copy both of them and group it so that it comes as one single element, all right? So you can, you can say that uh, with Toastmaster, Seema as the uh, Toastmaster of the day, all right? And uh, a good practice would be to also use the Facebook, whatever, uh, where is that? Yeah, whichever social media handles you have, use that here. You can see if it is Facebook, okay, click on Facebook, all right? Facebook, Instagram. And uh, I'll copy paste this again. And then I'll write, I'll show the handle at ABC Toastmasters. I'm gonna use this as a frame and highlight all of this, group them together and keep them at the bottom here so that it's easily available. Can we generate so a QR code with this? Like when people, somebody click on it, it takes them to the Facebook page or whatever page it is or a website page. That is possible with PDFs, but with images, that is not really possible. Uh, we can use QR codes for that, but with images, Clicking on it would be difficult. Now, how do I download images? Click on share, click on download. You can see I can download it as an image or I can download it as a PDF. If I'm downloading it as a PDF, what I can do is add a link over here so that whenever they click on it, it will just go directly to the Instagram uh, or, or the Facebook handles. But again, how many times do you share a PDF for an invite? You can really do that, uh, like an invitation, where if you click on it, it will send them directly. So it is actually a good uh, idea. But for an image, it would be hard to click on it to go to, a, to, go to it. Does that answer your question? Uh, I was thinking more of having a QR code. Uh, we can still save it as an image, but have, mm -hmm. having a QR code where Let's say you you have printed something, and mm. then you can just go on the QR code and straight takes you to the website. Mm. And that's links because no. there's there's a missing link somewhere where you have something on on your phone screen, but then mm. you also want to kind of see okay where is this website what's happening there, uh, and yes so qr code is available if you go to the left and if you click on apps there are various different apps in canva that you can use if i click qr code i can just open one of them enter a link uh say for example uh, i'll just use toastmasters.org all right mm -hmm. i'll click here and i'll generate a code you can see a qr code is generated right here on canva itself so that's actually a good way to download the Q, uh, keep a QR code so that for images, uh, that's what we do in all our district uh, posters. We have a QR code with the poster so that it is very easy for you to uh, click on it. So that is one way. Does Is that okay? Does that answer your question? Yeah, yeah. So you can click on it. You don't have to, even if it's an image. Is that right? Or you, you still have to scan it? We still have to scan it though, because okay. it's an image, right? Yeah, yeah. That's why. Okay. Uh, uh, you have the option of even customizing the QR code here. There are various different apps here. Uh, the thing is, there's a lot.
to explore in Canva. There are a lot of applications which uh, we can use, but I'm just going to, in this workshop with just one hour, and now considering that I only have 28 minutes, <laughs> I'm just trying to cover just the basics, but maybe we can have, just, uh, what I would like you to do is, I'd just like to show you the basic features, and later on you can look go and look into the other features which exist in Canva, like all these things, voiceovers, videos, uh, or we can even have another session to cover all these things at a later point. All right. Rishi, is that okay? No, thank you. Okay. Uh, one more, oh, one important thing that I would like to cover is are the gradients and the transparencies. Now, usually for posters, uh, what I would like to do is I like to have, instead of a plain background, I like to keep something that shows something about public speaking. Uh, let, let me see if I got something. If I click on photos here, you'll find various different uh, images that come along with it. Uh, you notice that some of these images have a pro feature. So I like to click on filter. Okay, we don't have that option here. Uh, choose one of the options which doesn't have this Canva uh, pro icon, like say this one, all right? This has a Canva Pro feature, like this one. And if I were to make it bigger, this will cover up the entire screen, right? What I would like you to do is I like to, uh, either you go click on, right click on it and click layer and say, send it to the back. Right, so this will be at the extreme back. Okay. Or if you click Control, Open Square Bracket, it'll take you to the front or the back as per what you need. All right. Now you notice that it is still showing uh, this thing which is overlapping with a lot of elements. If you click on Transparency, you can bring it down can bring the transparency down to this so that there is an image at the back which shows maybe one of your club meetings and that is also a nice way to bring in another design element to it uh, to make it stand out so here we have a theme meeting we are showing how the meeting is how the toastmaster meeting is and then we are displaying all the text in front so if in case there is one picture that you would really like for it to stand out, you can use this. So if you look at it right now, uh, this is the photo with the background image, and this is the one without it. Which one looks better? There are different <laughs> different perspectives to it. So if you like something new, you can try this out as well, uh, just to give you an idea of how to play around with transparencies. The other thing that I would like to show you, I'm going to duplicate this so that this is remaining as it is. Another thing that I would like to show you is the transparencies. Instead of using just a solid color, what I would like to do is I like to add in some gradients. Uh, I'm going to click one of the gradients like this. All right. Okay, I want to click add a new color, All right? Uh, the first option that I would like to keep is, I'll, I'll be going back to this again. Uh, it's either blue, maroon, or gray gradients. You can see in blue, I use 004165, right? That is one of the colors. And uh, then click the second gradient. And here, 006094. Okay. So this is a blue gradient that I chose. Uh, maybe another style. This one is more better, more centralized. So this is a blue gradient, which is an approved design from the brand manual, which you, if you want, you can use it for your posters. So you have various different styles. You can go with a solid color, you can go with the gradient, 
or you can go with one of the transparencies as well uh, to make your pictures stand out. Going to, if, if one of your members have completed one of their things and like say for example okay i completed my engaging humor pathway i can go back to the brand manual download the effective coaching path and then say like hey uh, i completed this so let me congratulate so and so person for winning the engaging humor go to uploads again oh i clicked effective coaching okay effective coaching so abc toastmasters congratulates sima mena for getting what level one effective coaching and i can reduce the font or click on this to reduce the font even further just so that you can show the different the path that she completed and level one and effective coaching so this is a good way to promote your members as well uh, to showcase them, showcase some of their achievements and uh, uh, whatever they did. Any questions up until now? Just gonna... Alan, I just wanted to hmm. tell you, I, I saw in the chat someone said, uh, rightly so, that those pathways buttons uh, uh, have not been updated with the new logos for the uh, for the uh, different pathways, the effective coaching ones, etc. Those uh, are have changed in pathways now. Uh, the so you're saying that the logo has changed in the pathways. Yes. The, the, mm. the button. The right, button no, has. The, not the buttons. Uh, the ones you just used. The the effective coaching thing and you know uh, engaging humor and stuff like that. those badges. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Paul, yeah, those badges right. have been updated since the new base camp came up. New Because the, the brand manual that you're in is the older brand manual. Mm, okay. Uh, this is the, yeah, this is, uh, so it might be just the case that they didn't update it. So until they update it, this is what we have in the brand manual and we can continue using that. Or go to the one on path, on pathways, right click or take a screenshot of that and use that badge in your poster. You can do that as well. Does that make sense? All right. No, Paul, and, and there is a link for that. I'm going to put it in the chat room. They did update all of that when Basecamp came back up. Oh, you fantastic. Prob you, you probably missed it in that WhatsApp group that we have for the TI branding, the unofficial mm. WhatsApp group. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, please share that here, Craig, so that we can also have a look at that. All right. So if that is there, Craig will be sharing the link and we can have a look at that. All right. Any other questions apart from that? All good. Okay. Uh, I'll show sh some of the other things that uh, are there. Wait, let me just share my screen. Okay. So here is a uh, based on what you learned right now, if you look at this poster, you can see the different things that I might have done. I took this person, removed the background, and kept them here. I took this person, removed the background, kept behind this person. How did I do that? Again, control and uh, forward bracket or backward bracket. You can see how it goes front and back, right? So you can adjust it, you can add that, you can put them in different layers using the control open bracket or the close bracket. Same goes with this person as well. I use the social media handles. I set the meeting name, the date, the venue, and the time with ABC Toastmasters Club. 
and a background of uh, an audience. And you can see that the transparency that I usually set for the color is 70. 70 is what is approved in the brand manual. So that is the color that I set over here. Uh, going to this poster, if you were to look at this, what are the things that I might have done? I have used the logo here. I have taken my club and removed its entire background. I, I didn't just remove one person. I took the entire club, our group photo, removed the entire background and kept it here. I used a square gradient and I kept it behind that poster as well. And I kept this person in the front, used another square bracket, uh, squ uh, another square and tilted it. This is how you tilt an image or any element in uh, Canva. And then with, the, with, the, with these details, I was able to create this poster. So if you were to look at the different posters right now, you would get an idea of how we are able to create such posters, right? Are you able to are you able to follow up with that? Yeah, Alan, can I ask a quick question? Yes, Rob. How, how did you put the border on the element that you had sloped? Was that a frame to put the border on it, or what? I'm I'm going to go to that uh, picture again. This one, right? Yeah. So the, so the um the yellow border on that. Ah, this one. Okay, yeah. so that is again no, no, another no, element no, called no, line. No, no. Okay. Right. Thanks. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. How do I get a line? Again, click on elements and click line you will find different lines click on this uh, drag and drop i mean uh, extend it change the color to maybe maroon change the thickness to something bigger over here maybe even a dotted one right and that is how you can play around with lines right or any other element for that matter go to elements whatever shape you need using your creative ideas just take it out and put it over here you can see this is another frame with the gradient if you are using this please make sure that the gradient is following the brand from the brand manual and we can adjust that over here all right any other questions You someone tried putting the toast mother, but when I make it, it drops a logo. It doesn't make the okay. I'm gonna show I'm gonna answer uh that question. Uh someone had a question about the logo getting cropped out. That can happen. I'm I'm we're just gonna now. This is how, if you use the bottom right, this is how I adjust the image. But if I were to click here and adjust, it will crop. Share your screen, please. Oh, I'm sorry. I was good. Thank you for telling me about it. All right. So what I um uh, if I click on the right over here, I can resize the image this way all right but if i click here on one of the sides it will end up cropping the logo all right if i go more forward this is what happens i don't want it to zoom in to the logo or i don't want it to crop the logo if i want to just adjust the logo i just click on the right side and drag it that is how i resize the logo all right hope hope that helped uh any other questions i'm just looking at the chat uh, um, Alan, there's yes. a question about duplicating designs for future use can you tackle that one yes uh could you read that out for me rob because i'm Yes, I just so noticed Kate there are a lot of... asked, can you mm -hmm. save your own templates, for example, next meeting, and then maybe mm -hmm. just change date subsequently? 
That is a fantastic question. Now, uh, am I am I sharing my screen? I think I'm not sharing my screen. Okay. Yeah, yeah you are. Okay. So, uh, now, if if I go to Canva.com now, uh, what happens is I will be able to see all the previous designs that I had done, right? Like these are the recent designs. Uh, this is what I, I was doing previously. So I'll be able to click on that, open a new tab. Right? So this way I can see the previous posters that I had done. So if in case in the future, I would like to create a new design, I, I just have to click create a new design, use one of the sizes here or one of the templates here. Now I'm just gonna click, a, click on a blank canvas, Instagram square. I can go to the previous tab and copy paste elements from here. Say for example, I wanna copy paste the gradient. Uh, I just click on this and paste it here. That is control paste. And you, I, I get this uh, element over here because I had used it in a previous poster. It is very easy for me to control C, copy, and control V on another canvas. Uh, with Canva, you can copy paste various different things. Now, if, if I want to copy paste, uh, now you notice to get to the square, I had to move this picture. Only then I could click on the square. Once I click on it, I press control C. And then what I would like to do is press control Z so that it goes back to the previous position that it was. Now, as you press control C, the image is already copied. So you just have to go here and press control V for you to paste it over here. So whenever you're designing something new, you can either duplicate it and use the same file to create multiple posters. Say for example, I'm just gonna duplicate this and uh, change the color of this to maybe something else. I, I like to keep it to ye uh, yellow. Uh, if if I want to change the color, if, uh, if I don't want a gradient, I can keep it to a simple color as well. Click here and here so that it becomes an entire different color. So you will be able to play around with it, you'll be able to copy paste different elements so that you are not uh, uh, recreating, you are not doing things from scratch. You can just use the existing elements to just make minor tweets uh, to your designs and that will save you a lot of time, All right? Uh, any other questions? I can see one. Okay. Alan, I do have one. Um... Can you speak to, uh, I see there are templates that other people have made and it makes a copy of those. Can you uh, speak to how to do, make a template so that that when you uh, click on it, it will make a copy and not destroy the original? Um, oh, okay, you know what got I, it. I, 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 I got it, all right. So uh, now going back to this again, going back to this design, if I go to canva.com. Oh, what I would like to do now is I would like to share my template with different people in my team and tell them like, hey, uh, you don't have to recreate from scratch. You can just use one of my templates and uh, uh, design that. So before I do that, I would like to make a copy of the original so that that is not tampered with. If someone plays around with my file, it will, I'll lose everything that I had done previously. So what I'll do is I'll go to the main file. You click on this three dots here and click make a copy, right? Now it makes a copy of congratulations over here. See that? It makes a copy of congratulations. And now you can share this design with your team. How do you do that? Click on share. And with this, before copying this link, go to this drop down and click anyone with the link can edit, not just view or comment, they can edit it. I'm gonna copy this. And you know what? I'm gonna put it here on chat so that you can access that link. Try accessing the link that I just shared. 
and you will be able to edit it. Okay, I can see various people editing. So I'm just gonna show you what it looks like from my screen. See, I can see Andrew Grainer trying to edit this. See that? I can see Bohr, Nish playing around with it. You can see everyone has been playing around with the template, editing it, redesigning it. Why, why not someone duplicate this? Let's see how to duplicate it. Right. <laughs> okay, you guys are having your fun over there. So that is how you share a poster with your team so that they can make the designs on their own. But you have your original copy with you and that is not being tampered with. Right. Uh, any other questions? So, so Alan, how do we download? So we're working on a shared copy here. If we want to yeah. pull that down and work on it, locally to use as our own how do we do that so you can even make a copy of this one once it is shared with you you can make a copy of it on your account oh, okay right yeah uh, so that nobody tampers with that copy that you have because this link has been shared with multiple people they'll all be making different <laughs> adjustments to it we are silly i like that <laughs> okay uh so uh, you you can make different copies. You can create. You can do things on your local thing so that nothing is being tampered with. All right. I hope that answers your question. Anything else? <clears throat> okay. Yeah. Do we have think, uh, any? Uh, idea? Sorry. Go ahead. Fine. Yes, please. Uh, it is possible if you uh, send me or uh, send us uh, a recording. Just in yes. case if we miss something, we can uh, check. We'll do that. I'll send you a recording. I'll Thank share you. that. All right. Thank you. Uh, most of the recordings are, are, are on our district YouTube channel. So go to YouTube, click District 91, uh, search for District 91 Toastmasters, and you'll be able to see the previous recordings over there. All right. Uh, yeah. There was a question from Rishi. Yeah, I was... Uh, do you have... For district, you might have created few posters and nice posters. Do you have any old templates, the way you've shared this? Can you share something where um, somebody might have asked you to create a poster for an event or for uh, yeah, you know, different Toastmasters events? Do you have anything which you already have and uh, we can reuse it? Uh, well, we can use this existing template, uh, which has a meeting poster, congratulatory poster as well as uh, a celebratory poster so we can use that and if you like more designs i can create that and share it with uh, the team if you're following if you're following the vppr channel i can post it over there or even the area direct or the district channel so that you can the district leaders can share it to their members if that helps Okay. Yeah, but you don't have anything handy like because if you're created in past, it must be in your in your saved folder somewhere. So uh, that's the thing with with the if if I'm sharing this link to people, uh, people can tamper with it, right? So that that is the problem. So unless uh, I mean I have given instructions earlier not to tamper with it, just make a copy of it and then tamper with it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So. I will try again. I'll try creating a fresh copy and I'll share it around. But again, when you get a copy like that, uh, try not to change any elements because other people will also be using it. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. So when we save the elements, does it save the all the elements in my Canva? So I don't have to kind of go and do all this, um, you know, gradients and everything. It's it saves automatically. Yeah. Yes. So you just keep different versions of the gradients like blue gradient, maroon gradient, uh, gray, silver, so that all you have to do is just copy paste those elements and it'll be easier for you uh, to design it instead of putting in the color codes and all those gradient options from scratch. Okay. Yes. yes, Chetan? Uh, Alan, uh, just a question. 
that if we have got some kind of uh, queries, then can we contact you directly in person? Uh, yes, you can. Are you part of the VPPR channel or are you part of District 91? I'm part of District 91 and my club is uh, Experience French. Okay, I'm going to put in my uh, email yeah. so that if you, if anyone has any doubts, you can contact me. All right, this is my email. All right. So if you have any doubts, please do share your queries by email. All right. Okay. Where uh, is your email? Yeah. Here? You put in the chat. Yes, I just put it on chat. Okay. Maybe. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, we have two more minutes. Any other questions? No, thank you. Very useful. Okay. I, I know this was a very quick session <laughs> because we have one hour to pack everything in. If you like more sessions, please do let me know. We can have a session on creating videos maybe or something else uh, related to Canva. Uh, whatever doubts you have, please do shoot an email to me or put it on the VPPR group or the district uh, WhatsApp channels, and we can arrange for that. We have the PQD team who has been busy arranging webinars for our members. We have Debbie here smiling at me. <laughs> She's all set for more webinars, even Ed AJ, who has been helping a lot uh, with that. So uh, please do let us know. We are here to help, right? And uh, yeah, hope, hope you got a glimpse of what Canva can, can do. Uh, this is just these these are just very simple things that I did today. It is so simple, just basics. Uh, once you start using it, you will find so many different features. I am personally not a designer. I I uh, but uh, I do know how to navigate my way through Canva and create some basic posters. Mine are not designer level perfect posters but it gets the message out there and uh, that's what we mainly want to do right okay thank you thank you everyone